Camera bags, right? <laughs> Sorry, Ted, I had to do it. What's up, YouTube? This is Red Ranger. I hope you're doing good. In today's episode, I want to review a really small bag, one that I really like. I've been rocking this Ona bag for a couple weeks now, and um, I thought it was time for me to share with you uh, how much I, I like this bag. So if you haven't seen the latest video, you'll see that I'm selling all my Nikon gear, and if you haven't seen it, just click here. Uh, you'll be able to uh, to watch it and uh, you'll know that I've uh, made the switch to mirror a mirrorless system and most precisely a Fuji film system which is the X Pro 2 so I needed to rethink the way I would be carrying around all of my gear um, across the world basically because I, I really like to travel too so basically ended up uh, looking online and, and thanks to Ted Vieira because uh, I was looking for a, a, a small bag and I watched his review where he opened up with camera bag right and I thought that was the coolest opening for a bag review but more seriously uh, I was uh, intrigued by these little bags made uh, in the US so basically this is the Bowery Ona bag and you can actually see it here I just want to pull up the page if I need to go uh, and, and talk about some specs but basically this is a very very small bag basically very cool looking bag doesn't necessarily look like a camera bag so when you're in the streets out shooting uh, again it doesn't scream that that you have uh, expensive gear uh, in in that uh, little bag here so basically what you uh, are able to fit in there if you open the bag it's a very nice little uh, attachment here there's no velcro so you're not you know uh, attracting a lot of attention when you open that bag it's just a little clip here and then you open the bag and you get these two flaps here so the rain doesn't get uh, into the bag. So that's very, very clever here on a bag. And what you're able to fit in the bag is actually quite impressive. I was uh, impressed by the uh, kind of the size of it and, uh, and, and what you could actually fit in it. So I'll put the light on the back to make sure that you guys can see. And what we have in here is basically three compartments. And what I decided to put in it is, first of all, the... Um, X Pro 2, the Fuji X Pro 2. So this is my camera of choice right now, and it fits, you know, really perfectly in my first little uh, compartment here in the bag. So that's the first thing I'm rocking in the bag. And uh, in the second pouch, I decided to bring my uh, flash. And if you guys want me to do a review, sorry, if you guys want me to do a review on that neat little flash system, it's the Nissan i40. Uh, just hit that thumbs up uh, below uh, down the, uh, the video and I'll, I'll do a full review on that little flash that I really like. Um, so that's another thing that I'm bringing into my bag. And that's in the second uh, little compartment in the bag. And in the third compartment, I'm traveling with my 10 to, 10 to 24 Fuji non lens, and again, if you want to see a review on that, hit that thumbs up, and uh, I will do a full review uh, on this magnificent lens. I think this is uh, this is really great lens, and uh, again, fits perfectly perfectly in the bag. Uh, you so this th these are the three compartments that you get. There's some detachable uh, little divider here that you can put uh, anywhere you want in the bag. And also you have some pouches, so, so then there's a pocket in front where I put my charger. I never leave the house uh, without the charger. And here's a little hack for you guys. So you know that the charger comes with this long wire and you don't, you might not want to carry a long wire with a bag like that. So here's my little hack. I mean, we all, we, we've all got um, um, Apple systems or Apple computers, or most of us uh, do. Uh, and uh, basically what Apple computers come with is these little uh, adapter here or plug that are at um, the end of the AC power. And usually we don't use that because we, we just like to travel with the shorter version. So you, you can actually remove that from your Apple uh, charger and put it right here because it does fit. It's actually uh, universal and it's the plug actually fits perfectly and then you get a perfect size travel little charger for your Fuji camera system. So nice little hack here and it can actually travel way better in a bag like the Ona bag. 
So I put my charger here. And what else do we have? We have an extra battery, of course, I mean, with the Fuji system or the Sony system or any system. Basically, you never want to run out of battery. Uh, and I'm planning on ordering more batteries like that. So that fits into the front, uh, the other front pocket. So this basically is it. Uh, there's also two side pockets, which is uh, very handy uh, if you want to put some smaller stuff in there. I don't currently have anything. And then you get a very cool uh, space in the back where I usually put my lens cloth uh, in a plastic bag so it doesn't get dirty. And I also um, am rocking a small moleskin to take some notes on ideas about uh, photography ideas or just random stuff that, I'm, that I want to, you know, put in there so I, so I don't forget. Um, so basically this is all that's in my bag. As you can see, I'm traveling very light now uh, and this is coming with me. Uh, everywhere I go basically so when I travel to for work or when I travel for my photo gigs or anything like that this is basically my my camera bag and there's this nice little strap here which is kind of like a, a seat belt seat belt material very comfortable very soft uh, but at the same time you can you can you can feel that this is a very solid material so really like that bag highly recommend it um, I encourage you to go check them out at ownabags.com and you will see uh, there's other colors. There's a black version, uh, there's also a leather, ver leather version actually. And they're all, they also make bigger bags, uh, but I think that one is perfect for any mirrorless system. So this has been the review of the Ona bag, very short review, but uh, highly recommend that bag. Go check them out on onabags.com. And if you like what you're seeing, just subscribe to this channel and you'll be able to get uh, notifications when I post a new video. If you want to see reviews on the 14 to 24 or the Nissan Flash, hit that thumbs up and that will tell me that uh, you guys want to see a review of these uh, little beauty here. Basically, that's all for today. Be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your gear. Cheers.